Mabuhay mga kumare! Welcome to the Secret Lounge where we will get to know more of your favorite beauty queen and pageant kings. As in, we will talk about everything. This is your Maring MJ. Relax ka lang dyan. Dahil today, sagot ko ang cheka. Mabuhay! Pauline Cucharo Amlinks, Philippines! We give a stage to our first runner up. the most requested kumare na mag-guest sa atin dito sa The Secret Lounge, ang ating first ever The Miss Philippines and Miss Supernational 2023 first runner-up, Pauline Amelie! Thank you, MJ! <laughs> <laughs> Grabe, super requested ka talaga. Walang check kaya. Oh, oh. Thank every you. Every time you die sa Amuang channel, every time namin i-guest, Laging my when is Pauline. Oh, ito na. Wala ni Karun. Napagbigyan na talaga. And of course, we love our Bisaya queens. Yes. She hailed from Cebu. Ah, from Bohol. Sorry. Bohol three times nga pala. Bohol, Bohol, Bohol. Bohol, Bohol, yes. Ako kasi medyo hindi ako naging loyal sa... Well, at first, I represented Davao and then North Cotabato and Davao. Pero... Ah, okay. Pareho ko naman silang mahal province. Minta na ako maghapon. Pero ikaw, talagang Bohol born and raised. Yes. Talaga. I consider myself raised also in Bohol. But I was born there naman talaga. Ah, where? May, may ibang province ka pa? Ay, hindi. But my dad is Belgian. So I'm half okay. Belgian. So uh, there was a part of my life where I was in Belgium also. Ooh. But then every summer when I was when we were in Belgium, we were going to the Philippines and then we'll stay in Bohol also. So how did you learn the the dialect? You're really good, ha? Huh? Bisaya kayo. <laughs> Bisaya kayo. Bisaya kayo. Bisaya kayo. Bisaya kayo. Bisaya kayo. I would surround myself with people that would speak Bisaya also. Then after after four years of high school, right, <laughs> marunong na, so I would know how wow. to speak it. Wow, you know what I admire about that? A lot of beauty queens, hindi naman natin sila din na down, but a lot of beauty queens who are even, you know, born and raised in Manila can't speak Tagalog. Mahirap din kasi yung Tagalog, in all honesty. <laughs> it's a difficult <laughs> language. Lisod para sa mga Bisaya. Oh, oh. Oh. Lisod yung transition before. Because I was like, okay, kiba na ako mag-Bisaya, medyo fluent na. And then right. yung Tagalog na, like, iba na yung ano, iba na yung grammar na lang yung syntax. Kudos to your mom, ha? Bisaya agad kayo siya. Bisaya siya, yes. <laughs> Are you ready for Cheka today? Of yeah? course. Cheka talaga. <laughs> Maraming tayong Cheka today. Okay, go. Dahil I'm na, ready. Alam mo, inaabangan na talaga ito ng mga kumari natin. Kaya mo yan. <laughs> Okay. In all your competitions here and abroad, people believes that you are always robbed of the crown. Lagi naman talagang sigaw ng sambayanan yan. How do you feel that everyone claims you deserve to be a queen? I feel like a queen. You are a queen! I, I feel like a queen. That's what I keep telling people also. Na I'm happy. Mm -hmm. I'm happy with where I am. I'm happy with all those achievements and with, with all the people that have helped me from beginning to end. So... If you feel that I was robbed, of course, I don't want to invalidate what they're feeling. Mm -mm. Of course, I want to let them or allow them to go through that if that's what they're feeling, Jud. But then I also want them to know my side. Mm. And my side is I'm grateful and I'm happy. And all I can hope is that somehow they see and feel that as well. And then we'll be okay or at peace with how everything is in life. 
Right. Alam mo yung sinasabi nilang sentimental favorite. I think ikaw yung isa sa mga sentimental favorite talaga na every year sa Miss Universe Philippines inaabangan. Talagang nire-request. May lalang they didn't get bored of my face. <laughs> Pero ang daming nagmamahal sa'yo even after oh, but I know, feel that though. the so Miss Supranational competition. Oh, thank you. I'm, I'm grateful for that. Okay. You are the perfect epitome of someone who never gave up on her dreams. Where where do you get that undying passion to represent Bohol and the Philippines? I've always considered myself lucky to be able to represent Bohol. Mm-hmm. It was it was easy in in a way to represent Bohol because there's so much that I could show every every year. There's always something different that I could show. And of course the love of the Boholanos was so sincere and so intense. Na I felt intense like every talaga. intense talaga. Na every ta- every year nga I didn't actually make it. I felt like no, I can still do more. Like right. I really felt like I didn't reach my 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 upper or my highest limit yet. So I felt kaya ko to. Like I can still kick it up a notch if I join again another year. So yeah, that's where I, it's a feeling. Eh, sometimes yeah. it's a feeling. I'm sure you and, know what that feels like. And that's like. where you draw the ano din, no? yung talagang lakas ng loob mm-hmm. to really na kaya man siguro na ako. Why do a lot of people believe in me? So mm-hmm. like you look in the mirror again and like. I should Baka, believe in me too. I know, like, yes. Basi na agud, kaya naman sila makita, right? Oh, oh. Oh. Okay. As the very first, the Miss Philippines. How do you want future queens to remember your reign? I want future queens to remember me or my reign as as, as or remember me at least as a dedicated queen. And that's not just dedication to yourself and to your dream, but to also the people that have helped you get to that point where you are in life. And mm-hmm. I think that's something that will really keep you grounded also as you go, not just through your pageant journey, but through life as well. Like that dedication there. I love. <laughs> What's next for you, Pauline, after you passed on your crown to your successor? <laughs> <laughs> no, but in all honesty, I've been super blessed after after my international competition. I've been I've been able to go back to hosting pageants and to hosting events, which I love doing. Mm, yes, so that's I get to that, travel there. Exactly. Right. So that's something that I can now focus more on. I get to meet a lot more new people. I get to see so many new places or even go back to places that I've been to before. And I love it. I'm so happy doing that at the moment. And of course, there are some other things in life that I've also planned, like maybe also work on my own YouTube channel again. Mm-hmm. Hopefully, your viewers can also view my YouTube channel. Yes! <laughs> but, um, Invite mo sila! Yes. But it's in the works pa yan. I'm mm. still creating the flow of everything. But yeah, I'm working on something really personal and hopefully soon I can start actually creating it rather mm-hmm. than just writing about it. Ooh! Yeah. na nakararami. Ano po? May fourth time pa ba? <laughs> <laughs> Siyempre, alam mo, pangarap talaga ng mga fans mo na makita ka no, sa Miss Universe stage. <laughs> As a third timer. As a third timer. <laughs> Pero since wala ng age limit, I know that. Oh my time goodness. Puti na lang may rason ako, hindi pwede repeater sa Miss ah, Universe okay, itself. Alright, oh. sige. It's worth it. <laughs> Good for you. My excuse. <laughs> um, at the moment, I don't see myself uh, joining yet. And it was something that I keep telling other people, since there's no age limit, there's no pressure Mm-mm. in joining Agad Agad. Because this is the first time in like four years that I'm able to focus on something that's not a pageant. And it's such a new and exciting feeling. And I want to be able to pursue that first and, you know, think of myself also. <laughs> right. And then perhaps after that, you know, we don't, we can never say never. Like Mm-mm. Justin Bieber said that. <laughs> but of Malay course, mo, di ba? Of course One naman. day, like, magising ka, magbimiss universe. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> One day, who diba? knows? When you're 50 or something. <laughs> I like, love it. Dahil nga, walang age <laughs> limit, mga limit. Mare. Exactly. So that's why I'm saying there's no, what you call is there's no pressure. Yeah. And it allows you to experience so many different aspects of life. Right. Or even of being, being a woman, let's say. And then uh, hopefully that can also help you or enhance that journey if you choose to join again. But for now, focus on my own personal journey outside of pageantry. You know what I realized while you're talking? Dahil nga walang age limit, parang pwede rin siya maging inspiration, no? As oh, you become oh. a mom, as you raise your exactly. kids. Exactly. Like, 
in terms of you know how when you're taking care of yourself like you have something to look forward Mm-mm. to oh pwede ako mag Miss Universe in the future I'm gonna take care of myself exactly right? yes oh mga pare yes. love you pwede pa oh, oh. mag workout workout talaga yung sarili it's skin care it's, oh diba it's really a good excuse na Mm-mm. I wanna I wanna double my skin care routine <laughs> I wanna really take care of my body work yes. out really hard kasi syempre may nililook forward ka yes so. okay mga kumari Ayan mga Mare, on to our next segment ang What You Think Mare. So segment na ito, we wanted to get to know more you more based on your top of the mind answer. Sa aming mga okay. sasabihin. Oh gosh. Okay, I only have one hour to be in Bohol. Where will you take me? Oh my god, I know that this is something that I've always said before, but the Lobok River Cruise, Ooh. there's food, you get to immerse yourself in culture, and you can see a little bit of the beauty of Bohol, and I'm sure that one hour is enough to make you come back. Actually, <laughs> I, have, I have tried that once, palang, way, way back with my Miss Universe batch. Oh, really? Yes, oh, the Bohol kami, and we enjoyed it. Okay, so I think you know. more of. Ang ganda ganda na place Mm-mm. and pag maganda rin yung company. Oh, yung that's true. Mo, we really had a great time there. I can't even remember if it was one hour. I think it was more. It's usually an hour. The an river hour. cruise is usually timed at an hour. So enough to eat and then to go down the river and then to sing and dance with the locals also. Some yes. mga stops nila. Yes, that, along that the was way. a nice experience. And they felt like I haven't experienced it. You should the do same. it again. If it's been that long ago already. <laughs> Ayan. Bohol. Abangan natin siya sa Bohol. Pain racket. <laughs> <laughs> Dahil dyan lang tayo nakakapag-travel pag may mga racket tayo. Okay, you'll have a chance to choose a crown. No more competition. What crown will you pick? Mm, okay. Let's 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 go back a little bit. Because that's that's like a main question that you need to ask yourself as a, as a pageant uh, Wait, candidate. True, true. Now, where, what pageant do I want to join? And yes. what crown will I... Like style myself oh, for or aim or manifest, exactly. For a crown. So I think in in my life, I've always eyed for. Oh shocks, no, it's a lot, pala. Like I try lang. Going back, but yeah, of course it was Miss Universe and then uh, Miss International Ooh. and then Miss World. And then when I joined Miss Universe Philippines, of course, when when I got the Supra Philippines title, of course, what I manifested right, really was for right. to win the Supra title, which was also a very nice pageant after I did some research. Mm-hmm. But back before I did all that research, it was really Universe World or International. Mm-hmm. Because with Universe, of course, it's the top crown. Then with mm-hmm. International, because I felt like I can also somehow fit what right. they're looking for. Right. Based on you know looks and and maybe even demeanor, yeah. and then with Miss World also, it's because they're very heavy on their advocacy or mm-hmm. what you call their beauty with a purpose nga segment, which is something that I'm also passionate about. So it's like those were all like things that I was considering every time that I wanted to join again. But I got Super National Philippines, and I'm still so happy and so proud of that, of course. And then it was such an experience to compete in Poland, right? And I was so close to the crown. I just wanna, <laughs> I just wanna ask you this, because like other other beauty queens, they try other pageants since mm-hmm. you know they can see themselves in different crowns. Why didn't you ever try it? A different pageant. I know. I, I kind of keep asking myself that also, but it's a feeling sometimes. Uh, that you're drawn to it, right. and I actually did like working with the organization too, mm-hmm. which is one of the factors as well that made me decide to want to join again under mm-hmm. that organization. Okay, Mm-mm. I love that because you said international, world, and yeah, universe. and then in the end, it was. Having been able, it was my first experience with Miss Universe Philippines. That was a good experience, right. even the one year working with the Orc, which made me want to join again and again after mm-hmm. that. And super comfortable, muna rin sa exactly. No, yes, sa lahat ng tao. that's true. Okay, we will yeah. rewind your pageant journey. <laughs> On which timeline exactly you wanted to land? Yung this year, yung 2023, the, my my last hurrah for Miss Universe Philippines, because I think that was my my most transformative journey because that's where all the hard work and all my lessons from the past two tries accumulated and I really felt like that was my strongest 
uh, version of myself, mm -hmm. which is which is nice. Mm -hmm. Like the strongest version of yourself should be your, like your current version, of course. Mm -hmm. And I think I learned so much, and I was able to really progress in terms of, let's say, even pasarela, for example. Like, right. It was such a Waterloo for me in the past few years or my my past few. Did students. you compare ever? And then your... I did, and then I and then I what you call this? I saw myself this year, and I was like, fudge. I said the F word, sorry. <laughs> Cut not I, was like, I was like, I said to myself, fudge. Uh, I improved. Fudge. Brownies. Brownies. <laughs> like, I improved. And I was like, that's all I can hope for at the end to not necessarily aim for perfection, but aim for progress at least. And I saw that this year. That's why I would remind to this year. <laughs> so it was more on, kasi nga, alam naman ng lahat yan na talagang strong. Um, sa yo skill mo talaga yung Q&A mm -hmm. talagang yan yung jan ka malaka. So yeah. for you your weakness was the walk. Pasarela, yes. And that's uh, that was also something that a lot of pageant fans were saying na oh she's only good in Q&A but uh -oh. she's not really good at, at pasarela so she mm -hmm. might not even reach the Q&A round pag international mm -hmm. na. So I really worked on it and this year, I guess somehow we were able to fix what needed to be fixed right. or enhance what needed to be enhanced, and I saw the I saw the big difference, Jude. Wow. So I'm happy about that. Okay, we are proud of you as well. <laughs> we will go yeah. underwater. What's the best sea creature you want me to meet? Oh, there's a, there's a sea creature I was able to meet when I went to Palawan with my friends. We mm -hmm. we did some free diving there. His name is Aban. He's a, a manatee. Uh, a manatee, and he, he's very friendly. Like even friendly, if, friend. Like of course he doesn't talk or anything. Pero, <laughs> but, <of> course, <laughs> but it was it was the first other um, mammal uh, sea creature, na mammal that I saw. May interaction ba? As in like not really, but it, he doesn't go away uh, when you go closer. Because you kind of feel when they're comfortable. Yeah, but mm. he's already used to free divers around right, him. But right. of course, free divers don't touch or don't mm -mm. feed him or anything. He's just my his own business eating the grass or the Aww. sea grass and it's really cute to see Aww. and then of course since we're free diving he's like oh okay I'm running out of air gonna go up and then try to go back down and see him again but it was such an experience okay so, we will meet Aban Aban yes <laughs> in the future a new pageant is created where contestants can choose the only segment she will join pick one swimsuit <laughs> I mean, Q and A. I think, I think that would yeah. be a given if right, ever. Right. But if I had to, if it was between evening gown and swimsuit, I really enjoyed even my pasarela practices for swimsuit for this swimsuit. year. Like shout out to my friend Billy and to Coach Louis for and that. And the music, I said, the no, music, it's must... a beat, and then we we played around with the sarong. Right. Like, there's so much drama that you can add to right. it, and it hypes you up for mm -hmm. the entire pageant already. Mm -hmm. So I'm one of those people that also really anticipates the swimsuit and everything pageant. that you worked hard for. Do yeah, I prepare? Yes. You're very sporty. Yung katawan mo talaga always oh, oh, fit, so. eh, ba? From year one, ng sumalika. Oh, thank you. A publishing company will offer you a book about your life. Choose your book title. <laughs> Alam mo, this was actually one of the questions that I practiced with my Q&A mentor before. Like, yeah, shout out to Callie. <laughs> and it, was a, it was either a book or a song. She mm -hmm. said it could be for both. Mm -hmm. And she told me, make it something that really connects to you so that people can immediately think, that, okay, that's Pao. Mm -hmm. So I would pick, uh, I chose even back then, like 2022 pa to, Empowered. But yung P-O-W would be P-A-U for mm -hmm. Pao. So Empowered, that would be my, my book title. <laughs> I love. What particular question you always find hard to answer? It's the, the question, if there were no rules in the world for one day, what would you do? Um, and I love the answer that was given before on staging out, eat everything twice. That's right. such a witty answer. I know, right? But I will miss because I'm such a good girl. I really follow rules. It's right. like, it's so difficult for me to think, what would I do if there were no rules? So, it's one of the more difficult questions for me to answer. So don't ask mm. me that now. Huwag niyo siyang tanong niya. Mahirap, no? Kasi pag, oo nga, pag walang rules ako, I don't know. Kasi I'm always like so used to following everything. Yeah, same. Especially pag lumaki ka sa household, oh, that you have to follow all the rules. Exactly. <laughs> so it'd be like, um, wake so up late. So what do you do now? <laughs> wake up late? You no alarm? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Complete the sentence, I am Pauline and I am blank. I am Pauline and I am a dedicated and empowered queen. Empowered! Yes! <laughs> you got it! <laughs> I love it! On to our next segment, ang 
spill the tea. Oh. Ito na ang final Q&A mo. Ito na, yung, ito na yung totoong check-up. Ito na talaga ang pinaka-check-up of all the check up <laughs> Are you ready? Where's my tea? <laughs> Go. This is the tea. If you were to judge Pauline in the recent Miss Supranational, will you make her win? I'm biased. I'm gonna say yes. <laughs> I'm biased. <laughs> but I mean, I think if you'd ask any queen that would compete internationally, I think, and especially if like first runner up, for example, in placement, I think they would all say yes because you're that close already to snatching yes. the crown. And you all, you know from yourself that you gave it your 110% mm -mm. to represent the country as best as you can, to represent the people in your community the best as you can. I would give myself that right. out of my own personal bias, but mm. my opinion is not the judge's opinion, so we'll leave it at that. <laughs> I I was a runner up to Shamsi mm -mm. and I can you know I can relate to you the feeling of like you're almost there mm. yung parang one step na lang eh, may crown na ako eh. exactly <laughs> right but of course even when you're there at that point you still somehow find a way to be happy for that winner yes. right and you still create a bond with them so mm -hmm. again shout out to Andrea of course oh, oh. And, and she'll be here oh soon. for the for the for pageant Philippines. Oh. yes 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 but because you know Yung nananalo, it's not her. She she gave her best. Exactly. She did the competition the same as you. Exactly. I don't know. I don't know why the fans would hate on the winner. Oh yeah, when, of course. It's not. It's not even the. It's not. It's like, not her it's fault. Parang yun, it's her fault. It's like because alam mo ba na compete ako? Right. And you know, she just did her best to for her own dreams. Of course. Lahat naman ng candidates, my dreams are. I so. guess all of us, um, when we when we compete, we always try to give it our one hundred percent. It's right. really up to the judges then. Right. And the judges, if it was a different set of judges, it could have been a completely different, different result. result. Yes. So we have to really. Find the beauty in it and mm -hmm. find the encouragement to maybe even reassess ourselves what we can do to be better if ever or just allow ourselves to feel that moment and to have the courage to still be happy for someone else. Right. I think a lot of Filipino pageant fans and some neighboring Asian country <laughs> pageant fans should learn that, you know, being happy for for other oh, success naman. of course kasi parang pag hindi nanalo yung bet natin binobombard natin agad yung nanalo which is yeah, let her celebrate oh, her, her victory she deserves diba? it yeah the winners deserve it oh you have a good heart and that's why you're loved <laughs> thank you thank you so much Pao, for being at the secret lounge with marrying mj and thank you isang karangalan ang makasama ka dito at alam yes, kong thank you hindi ko hindi kita na ask ever ha Pwede mo ba akong picturean? Of course! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Ayan na, mapipicturean na talaga ako ni Pao Pao! Ayan, I got you. Let's go! I got you. Dapat profile pic mo to ha. May ano lang, photo bummer sa background. <laughs> Ang ganda mo, Te. Thank you so much, Dye! <laughs> Thank you, Bud. Ayan, mga kumari, supportahan po natin ang nalalapit na the Miss Philippines yes. first ever pageant. It's gonna be on October 24 in MOA Arena. It's gonna be the first ever of its kind. It'll really focus on culture and heritage. So it's gonna be like a fiesta celebration talaga. So hopefully, you can find a time to also watch and support the Miss Philippines. And who knows, maybe I'll see you there. And... Siyempre, magta-turn over ka na ng crown. Yes! Last time, can we hear naman yung iyong sinigaw na Philippines? Okay. Oh, okay. In yes, the yes, international yes, yes, stage. Okay. Mabuhay. I am Pauline Cucharo Amlings, Philippines. <laughs> Thank you so much. Bye, mga kumare. Thank you. Mare, sawa ko sa pagbigyan na talaga namin kayo at na-i-guest na namin si Maring Pauline. Napakasarap ka usap. Siyempre, Bisaya Queens talaga. Talagang witty, di ba? Isa sa mga takeaway ko dito is ang dami talagang broken-hearted sa first two times na sumali siya and hindi niya na-clench yung top crown. But I still believe that everything happens for a reason. And I think the reason is for her to be the very first The Miss Philippines. Dahil isipin niyo naman, sino pa ba? Sino pa ba ang dapat maging face niyan kundi siya, di ba? So this is the reason why she did not win the first two times. Kasi she is really supposed to be the Miss Supranational 2023 first runner-up. She really set the standard high. And ngayon, yung titingalain at susundan at pagkukunan ng inspirasyon ng mga bagong candidates ng The Miss Philippines is going to be Pauline Amelinx. And that's her why. Okay? Sana nag-enjoy kayo mga, mga mare. And see you po sa next episodes namin. Don't forget to hit subscribe button. See you!